Hey yo, it's Brian here. Today gonna be talking about the Seattle Seahawks because the 49ers are gonna be playing them this Sunday at Levi Stadium. So let's just dive into it now. The Seattle Seahawks, this is gonna be known as one of the teams that was supposed to be a dynasty because they were so dominant, especially on the defensive side of the ball, but ended up not becoming one because they made some dubious calls. They didn't repeat as Super Bowl champions, and we know the circumstances but in Super Bowl 49. Ha ha ho, they got Malcolm Butler. That was not fun for anyone in Seattle. I mean, it was fun for everyone else, especially Niner Nation. I'm pretty sure everyone in Niner Nation were going up and down when they lost that Super Bowl to the New England Patriots. I was happy. I was relieved that they lost that Super Bowl. I didn't want them to repeat, to be honest with you. I still love you on Seattle, but at the same time, did not want to see y'all repeat as Super Bowl champions, so I was really happy to see that, and they lost their chance to do something really special that a lot of teams don't get to do too often. I mean, the last time a team is repeated as Super Bowl champions was the 2003-2004 New England Patriots, and that was a long time ago now under Bill Belichick, and wow, Bill Belichick's pretty old. He's been with New England since 2000, I think, so this is what, his 17th year now? It's crazy time goes by so fast but don't want to get off track right now so i'm gonna keep talking about the seattle seahawks and what else do i have to talk about them the game against the atlanta falcons just might be the end of the seattle seahawks as we know it i don't know if they're gonna make the playoffs this year it's gonna be tough i mean they have a lot of tiebreakers not in their favor i mean they just lost to the falcons and they're both six and four so if this was some way a six c kind of type ordeal who's going to make the playoffs who's not going to make the playoffs i mean atlanta will be in seattle would be out because of the tiebreaker so this was a pivotal game for seattle to win and they didn't take the opportunity to do that i don't know who to blame we're probably going to blame blair walsh and pete carroll for their questionable calls especially on pete carroll's part and then blair walsh decided to miss a field goal that was pretty standard for nfl kickers and i just don't understand blair walsh i mean to do heartbreakings to minnesota and seattle at the same time it sucks to be Blair Walsh. I don't know why Seattle even signed him in the first place. As I said in my last video, like, what's the deal, John Snyder, Pete Carroll? Why would you sign this idiot that pretty much cost the Vikings a playoff run a couple of years ago against you guys in particular? Because, I mean, they was like a 23-yard field goal that was in their hands. And Blair Walsh didn't take advantage of that. It went wide left. And, oh, that was just terrible. I don't want to relive that if I was Blair Walsh. But whatever. I don't want to get too deep about the game against the Falcons. Pretty much talking about it in my prediction video. So, what else do I have to talk about them? I mean, injuries. Richard Sherman, Cam Chancellor, both out for the rest of the season. Very, very unfortunate for them. Hopefully, they can make a recovery. Especially Richard Sherman. I mean, Achilles injury is nothing to mess around with. I mean, it's one of those things where once you tear that Achilles, you're pretty much not going to be the same player again. So, that's really unfortunate. Cam Chancellor, I didn't even know he was injured, to be honest with you. I mean, I guess he was gimped up. But I didn't know he was that severe to put him on IR so hopefully he can make a fast recovery because neck injuries are nothing to play around with well any injuries nothing to play around with but I mean neck and Achilles especially the Achilles ugh, one of the worst injuries to get in sports so that's pretty unfortunate but what else what else do I have to talk about the Seattle Seahawks defensively I mean they're still kind of okay I mean they did do a good job against Matt Ryan that powerful offense well it's not as powerful as last year with Kyle Shanahan but I mean they're still kind of okay and then offensively they were kind of okay but they always make Russell Wilson try to do a little too much now, for the past season so far, I mean, Russell Wilson has been having to do other things that he's not really used to doing. He's had to scramble more often. The offensive line is pretty trashy, I would say, for the Seattle Seahawks. So, just a mess right now for the Seahawks. And, I mean, it's going to be tough to make the playoffs this year for the Hawks. A lot of people had him in the Super Bowl for whatever reason. I didn't have him in the Super Bowl. Well, I think I did have him in the Super Bowl, actually. I think I had the Seahawks and Patriots part, too, but... I don't think it's going to be looking like that anymore. It might be another team. I think maybe the Eagles for the first time in a while. Maybe the Panthers. I don't know. They're going to be qualifying for the playoffs this year. They are so far. I mean, they're doing a pretty good job right now in Carolina. And New Orleans, they're one of the biggest surprises in the entire NFL. I mean, who would start 0-2 to go 8-2 and so far. So, very impressive on their part. The Los Angeles Rams are pretty impressive. I mean, there's just a lot of surprises this year in the NFL. And Seattle's a little bit surprising. They're not doing really good anymore. Well, they're 6-4. and I mean, their record's kind of okay but I mean a tough NFC conference it's going to be hard to make the playoffs with a very tough NFC conference to overall so they have a lot of competition going on I don't know if they can make the playoffs but they're gonna to have to try to do something without Cam Chancellor and Richard Sherman and maybe they can make something happen but I don't know if Pete Carroll lost the locker room I don't want to say that he's lost control of his locker room but uh man it's a pretty gimpy situation in Seattle so do I think they can still beat the 49ers? Yes, they can. I mean, it's possible they can beat the 49ers because the 49ers are not that good as well. I mean, they're still trying to find their way. I mean, the 49ers are bad just because, I mean, they don't have a lot of talent. A lot of people are still injured, and you can't really do anything about that stuff. There's stuff you can't control. And then just overall, I mean, sometimes some other teams are just better than the 49ers. Unfortunately, I know they lost a lot of close games, but when they face a good team, it really shows. I mean, against the Cowboys and the Eagles, it was no fun to watch those games. But, I mean, they were the better teams anyway, so... 
what can you do, right? So, I mean, this game is still winnable for the 49ers. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people think in my prediction video that I was picking the Seahawks and Seahawks and that was it. No, I was just picking Seattle because I still think they were the better team than the 49ers. And according to Vegas, they're still seven-point favorites over the 49ers at San Francisco. Seattle is still a pretty good team over the 49ers, but I don't know about other contentions like the Eagles because they have to play the Eagles in a couple of weeks from now. So, it's going to be tough for them now to play a tough team like the Eagles because the Eagles are very high. Maybe they'll find a way to make the playoffs this year. I don't know. It's going to be tough, but they always try to find a way to do it, and they always have a lot of good talent to find a way to make the playoffs in some way, shape, or form, despite all the injuries that they have. But this year might be a little bit different since they lost two members of LOB. That's never happened before. They usually lose one, like Earl Thomas last year, which was very unfortunate because Earl Thomas is like the heart and soul of LOB. And once they lost him, I mean, the season was pretty much over, even when they made the playoffs. And losing Chancellor and Sherman, wow. That's a big loss for them. So and that's going to be pretty much it. You guys, playoff chances for the Seahawks is looking really, really low as each week passes by. And every team is getting better in the NFC. So it's going to be a tough one for Seattle this year. And might be the first time since 2011 that they don't make the playoffs. And might be the end of Pete Carroll as we know it. I don't know this season exactly, but maybe next season. Because people are getting older. He might have lost to the locker room even after Super Bowl 49. And this game against the Falcons with that weird fake field goal play call. Even though I kind of liked it just to do something different but at the same time it was a stupid call I don't know really mixed feelings for me so please comment below what you guys think about the Seattle Seahawks are they good are they bad are they gonna make the playoffs this year or something like that can they beat the 49ers are the 49ers are gonna win please put anything about the Seahawks in the comments below if you guys like this please like subscribe do whatever you want with this and I'll be catching you guys up probably next week so I hope you guys have a nice day nice weekend nice whatever and if I don't see you guys later you guys have a happy Thanksgiving enjoy your turkey enjoy football and I guess I'll catch you guys up on Monday when I react the game to the Seattle Seahawks so I'll see y'all then bye guys